Hello everyone. Today I just want to share with you a real quick way of making the chicken wire pillow that was popularized by Holly Chapel that's very useful in flower arranging. So, okay, in order to make a chicken wire pillow, uh, I'm going to take a coated, like green coated chicken wire. This is an 18 inch coated chicken wire and I'm going to cut it at one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh cell. So that's like in the middle of the seventh cell, I'm going to cut the wire all the way across. So I got the uh, wire cutter right here and I'm cutting it all the way across exactly in the middle of that cell. So I have little spurs on, on the ends. That's what you need. So there it is. But because I cut it exactly the same way before, it also has spurs on the other side. So what I'm going to do is roll it up and overlap it by maybe two cells like this. And then I'm going to close it up on both ends like by just twisting it a little bit so that it closes up. And then what I'm going to do is flatten it so that it matches up to its respective spurs on both sides. So I'm just flattening it so that it's a lot easier to work with. And then I just proceed to just close those spurs and, and put them together so that on each end I just go around and down so that the, each spur combined together, twisted, is then brought downwards and in to the middle of this pillow. Once you get going on this, you can make many of them very, very quickly. You're going to go to the other side as well. Match it up. Now this is one stray that it just happens just because of the way that chicken wire is made. This extra spur on the side, just join it in to this other one so that it goes together. You want to make sure that they combine together and closes off the pillow. You want to do that again with each one of these. So you got a nice closed to, um, flat piece that then you just pull apart. So you just do this and it's all closed off on the ends with a, where the spurs are so it holds together. And so you have a really a nice pillow that's made very quickly that sits beautifully on top of the container and you're ready to fill this with water and you're ready to design. So you can see how easy it was to make this uh, quick mechanic that's going to be so much fun to design in. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you how to design with uh, flower flowers out of the garden next week. So if you enjoyed this quick little video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.